Hey guys, welcome back to RIP Superchargers. Today's a little different. We have a 2016 Chevy Colorado Z71 on the dyno. Now this vehicle is very similar to our Jeep program as it's set up with a 3.6 liter V6 up front, a six speed transmission automatic and a live axle in the back. Now Chevy trucks are great because they're set up really strong. They have a really strong chassis. They're designed to pull 7,000 pounds, but the power plant doesn't really up to the task. There are diesel versions of this vehicle, but they do have their quirks and qualms. And there is a group of people who are purchasing and most of them were worried about the price. So there's a hell of a lot more of these V6s on, on, the, on the road. Now this vehicle is a driver. It's a one owner vehicle. It has done about 26,000 miles and the cli client has mild mods done to it. In this particular case, he has a cold air kit, um, which basically removes the factory air box and puts in a cold, larger breathing air filter. And he has a cap back exhaust system, which uh, is larger and has dual tips in the back. We're not quite certain on the brands, but that doesn't really matter. The mods are there and they're there to be tested against what would be naturally aspirated. Now we do, we have tested vehicles like this in the past. So we do have a good baseline because we had a few of them on our dyno. Uh, so this one's here to get that baseline and then naturally get supercharged uh, thereafter. So uh, it is strapped down and we do like making some noise. So let me uh, make some noise and I'll be right back. Okay, Let's see what we got here. Shut some of these fans off. Put some power up. All right, 278.1 horsepower at the rear wheel, which makes this a pretty stout uh, little engine uh, as far as V6s go. And naturally with these smaller tires, we are freeing up quite a bit of horsepower. We're used to having vehicles here with some pretty chunky tires out there. But nonetheless, that gives us our baseline. It shows us what it is we're making. We're making about 260, about 265 pounds of torque as well. So it's a pretty evenly balanced, uh, you know, balanced motor. Uh, overall, I think we're happy with this. Now we're really curious to see what it's going to make with a supercharger. So thanks for stopping by.